What's going on guys? Cal here, Jailbreak Central. Yes, my mic did break. Um, so I'm recording this on my computer mic. However, I think you guys will survive. Um, but anyway, today I'm going to be talking about the iPad Mini. So yes, it was announced at the keynote today. This is um, October 23rd, and it will be rolling out October 25th. So this is very soon in two days, you'll be able to buy it in stores. So basically, I'm going to be talking about the iPad Mini, what the new features are, what the new specs, and all that stuff. Now, first off, this is my personal opinion. I believe that the iPad Mini is a completely pointless device, and I'm sure a ton of people would agree with me. The iPad Mini, in my opinion, is a glorified iPod Touch. And so I'm going to go to Apple's website, and I'm going to prove to you why I believe that. So first, if you go to Apple's website, this is indeed the iPad Mini page, and you go to Features. This is the, this is the page that you go to where you find out what's new about the device and why you want to buy it. This is the page where Apple tells you their selling point, basically, why do I want to buy this device? So now if I scroll down here, the first thing is that it's 7.9 inches. So that is how big the iPad Mini is. It is significantly smaller than the iPad, however, a little bit bigger than the iPod Touch. Now, first off, the iPad Mini cost $320, or around $320. Now, the iPad itself cost $399, so it's about a $60 difference between those two. Now, I'm not sure why I would want to buy a device which is $60 less and have, I think it's a three or four, four inch difference between the iPad mini and the iPad the iPad itself. So I'm not sure why I just wouldn't want to pay $60 more and have a device which is a lot bigger and is able to see things on than pay for the smaller device and basically pay the same price. Now if you're worried about space for some reason and you can't transport this device, however the iPad is already pretty small, then by all means get this device. I think it's a great device. Um, but other than that, I, there's just not that many features that Apple's to convince me to buy this device. Next, it's 23% thinner and 50%, 53% lighter than the iPad. Um, that's great, that's obviously because it's smaller. So again, I don't believe that lighter and thinner is a great reason to pay 300 and something dollars for this new, brand new device. So the third thing, the third thing that Apple puts as their, their selling point is apps. Apps. Yes, I'm reading this, it's right here. You can go to their website yourself, the third thing that they say is a great new feature is apps. Okay, now obviously they're referring to that there's a lot more apps for the iPad, or that are full size, they, there's not just iPhone apps where you have to size up. However, I, apps have been around since the first generation iPhone, alright? These, this is, apps were like the revolutionary thing when the first iPhone came out, and here we are like a couple years later, and they're saying that apps are the brand new feature, or one of the best features about the new iPad mini. So obviously this is not Apple's, you can tell that they're struggling to sell this device already. I do not believe this is going to do well. Um, next, incredible performance, it says Mini is mighty, and then they have the powerful A5 chip. Now this is the same chip that's in the iPhone 5 and all that other stuff, so this is nothing new. Yet again, this is not a reason to buy the iPad Mini. The, I, the powerful A5 chip is also in the iPad, and there's even better chips that they say that they're going to come out with in the iPad 4, which I'll talk about later. Um, I mean, 10 hours of battery life, that's sort of a new, I wouldn't say it's a feature, just because computers have 10 hours of battery life and stuff like that. However, I mean, I guess it's sort of new, I guess. So you could say that's a new feature. All right, so that's one new thing, besides the, um, the width. But other than that, I mean, here we have the cameras. So it's got full 1080p recording. The iPhone 5 has that. Um, a lot of devices have that, actually. Almost every Android device has that and it shoots five megapixel still images. Now what I don't understand about this is how a device, which is much bigger than the iPhone, cannot have an eight megapixel camera. The iPhone 5 and 4S have eight megapixel cameras, and they're significantly, significantly smaller. However, the iPad mini and the iPad themselves, both are huge devices, well, I wouldn't say huge, but big compared to the iPhone, and they only shoot 5 megapixels, so that somehow doesn't really make sense to me, I don't know about you. Um, next is the Wi-Fi. This is the Wi-Fi that is supposed to be two times as fast, or a lot faster. Um, however, I still, again, don't believe this is a great reason to buy the device, just because the devices today are already fast, alright? All the devices are blazing fast, I don't, like, there's no problem with them being slow. So I think any faster, and our brain will have trouble computing what's actually happening. So I don't think I don't I don't complain about the iPad being too too slow. It's obviously all the devices are fast, so I don't think that's a great reason to buy it. Obviously, 4G LTE, but you have to pay for the data plan and all that, and that's just a pain. Besides, it's in the iPhone 5, and it should be in a lot of other devices that they release from now on. 
Next is Siri, your intelligent assistant. However, I find that Siri is kind of annoying, and I don't really end up using it that much, even though it was the main feature on the iPhone 4S. I'm sure a lot of you will agree with me if you have devices that have Siri. I don't really use it that much. I mean, sure, it's, it, it can be useful, but I would, I would never use it day to day. Some of you might be able to, and that's great, but I just can't find, I just can't work with it that well, so it's not that great. Um, next is iOS, um, which apparently is a great new feature. It's the actual, it's just the mobile operating system. iOS has been around forever. So that's a um, great new feature, Apple. And then iCloud, which is on every single device that Apple has made. You can stream everything, whatever. It's on every device. There's nothing new there. AirPlay, again, you can use it on any device. Um, the smart cover, which they had in the iPad. However, the smart cover is just 7.9 inches to accommodate the smaller iPad. And then the lightning connector, which Apple has deviously, I like to say, designed to make you basically pay more money. Um, I mean, you have to buy adapters for this, you have to buy wall connectors, you have to you have to buy so much stuff to replace all of your old chargers that everyone was already having a pain with anyway. I'm sure if your household has multiple device, Apple devices, you all have the chargers. So now you have to upgrade everything, you have to buy adapters, car chargers, all that stuff has to be changed because of this lightning connector. And the reason they say it is that it is faster connecting it, which I don't understand because I have tested this, don't worry. I put this on multiple computers, tried the normal dock connector and then the lightning one, and I really see no difference at all. I'm not even sure why you need that much time to transfer music or whatever you are with the lightning connector or charging it. It's just not, it's not, it's not a great innovation, I'd say. And then yet again, as I said before, it is the iPad mini is $329 and the iPad is just $399, $60 or $70 difference, somewhere around there, whatever. Basically, it's just not that much different, and it's pretty much the same thing. In my opinion, as I said before, it's a glorified iPod Touch, and I really think that Apple's gone in the wrong direction on this one. I don't like this device. You may disagree with me. If so, leave a comment. I'd love to hear it. Um, actually, I really want to know your opinion, so go ahead and leave a comment. Um, other than that, that was my sort of a rant, I guess, in the iPad Mini, because I don't believe it's a great device. So other than that, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys have a great day. As always, see you guys later.